Rome, Indiana is located between Derby and Tobinsport. It's one of the oldest towns in Indiana. First called Washington, then Franklin, it was finally called Rome after no other town in Indiana was known to be called Rome. The only thing close is Rome City, which is north of Fort Wayne. The entire population is 36 people, which would definitely qualify it as a small town. The majestic old Perry County Courthouse, built in 1819, is the oldest remaining county courthouse in the state. It's awe-inspiring to stand in front of a building over 200 years old and think about the people and things that have happened here. It was fashioned after the Corridon Capitol building that was built in 1816. However, the Rome Tower is closer to how the original Corridon building looked than what's there today. The Perry County seat was moved to Candleton in 1859. Since then, the old courthouse has served as several churches, a private school, a public school, and is now the Rome Community Center. In good weather, the grounds are used to show movies. To me, it's something special to find a 200 year old building that was so well built that it's still being used after two centuries. They don't make them like they used to. There's been many great floods since the 1800s. There are thus no other historic buildings to be found along the waterfront. However, you will be glad to find public restrooms as there are no others for many miles. Be advised that the main road goes straight into the Ohio River without much warning. I guarantee it will ruin your whole day. Just across the river is Stevensport, Kentucky. It's named after Richard Stevens, who served under George Washington during the American Revolution. And here's a fun fact. In 1784, he was given a large land grant along the Ohio River for his service in the Continental Army. Fifteen years later, in 1799, he was the wealthiest landowner in Breckenridge County, owning a plantation and about 150 square miles. You heard right, 150 square miles. Stevensport was named after him in 1803. As Rome is so remote and quiet, it's a popular place for RVs and camping. A place to put your boat in the water and let the world float by. And that really is what it's all about. Rome, Indiana. A hidden gem along the scenic Ohio River. Picture worthy, historic, and waiting for you.